Yes. Okay. Hello. Hello. Happy Saturday. How are you? Everybody doing okay? When you hop on, say hi, and you're going to want to go ahead and just share this video to uh, just go ahead and share it because you're going to want to keep these tips, okay, so that you can look back at them later because I'm going to give you several tips on how to make your lashes look amazing. All right. Okay. I have a couple of different really, really good things going on with the mascara that I'm going to be using. <clears throat> Excuse me. So if you're interested in hearing about those, just call me at Epic below or me and I will uh, message you what I've got going on. Special segment going on. Okay. So I'm going to show you. Hey guys, how are you? I'm going to pull my, pull my little bit of hair out of my face there because I'm going to be working on this eye. I'm going to leave this one just like it is. I have on no mascara. Um, I have the rest of my makeup done. As you can see, I have bags under my eyes because I was out late last night with my daughter at her prom, picking her up and everything. And, you know, funny, funny thing is I'm sitting there in the parking lot waiting for her to get done partying. And I'm thinking, you know, it is like two hours past my bedtime. <laughs> Now, I'm a night owl. I like to stay up, but I like to be in my bed staying up. Does that make sense? Give me some hearts if that makes sense to you. Um, yeah, I like to... Hey, girl. Hey. I like to uh, be in my bed. Be in my bed spending my... Uh, that's my mama time. You know, that's my me time. All right. So, the first tip for making your lashes looking amazing. Okay. So first, I want you guys to look at my lashes, Okay. Those are my lashes, my natural lashes. Now, I use this esteemed lash serum because the first tip that I have for making your lashes look amazing is to make sure that your lashes are healthy. Okay, you want your lashes to be healthy, not dried out. You want to be moisturized, uh, nourished, and growing healthy. Okay, and a good eyelash serum is going to do that for you. Whether it is mine or a different one, um, you need to make sure your lashes are healthy. Um, before you go because if your lashes are not healthy, it's not going to matter what kind of mascara you use your your eyelashes are going to look like If your lashes are not healthy, but if they're healthy You're good to go. All right second tip. I have for you is this thing Ooh, This thing eyelash curler get you a good eyelash curler. Hey, how are you? Get you a good eyelash curler. Okay I like to make sure that mine's clean before I use it every time because um, sometimes, you know, like some gunk gets down in there and I feel like when I go to curl my lashes, if it gets deposited on there, then you got kind of, you know, clumpiness in there already and um, old eyelashes and that kind of thing. You don't want any of that. So we're going to curl our lashes. If eyeballs freak you out, this video is probably not going to be for you because I'm going to be doing lots of things to my eyeball. Here we go. Okay, curl your lashes. So we're going to put these at the base. We're going to pulse, pulse pulse then we're gonna go down the middle and pulse 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 and then come up a little bit makes my eyes water and pulse 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 okay so what that's gonna do is that's gonna immediately open your eye up okay hey girl it's gonna open your eye up because the lashes you can see already a difference you see already the difference in my lashes it helps them go from being like eh or eh to more uh and open up are you guys liking all my descriptive words? Eh, eh, ooh, ooh, yeah. Okay. Anywho, what else? Okay. After that, got your brow lash comb. What's this thing called? Lash comb brow brush. Hey, hey. I like to just kind of brush through mine after I curl them because I feel like, I feel like sometimes they get kind of like squashed together. So I like to do that. Okay, next tip is to take you an eyeliner. Um, you know, black eyeliner, dark brown eyeliner, whatever your preference is. And what you want to do with it is we're going to tight line. And what that is, is you see right here in these lashes, you can see the lash line there. That's where you're going to put this uh, eyeliner. Okay, here we go. Right there in that line. 
and that is immediately going to make your lashes look thicker, okay? It's going to immediately make your lashes look thicker. And then I also like to just go down here on the bottom just a little bit. I do just a little bit down here on the bottom. Anybody else's allergies giving them fits right now? Mine, oh, yeah. It's been like three weeks. It's been like three weeks of craziness. Oh, side note. Sonic. I like to order an ice water with their diet cherry and diet blackberry like mixed in it. It is delicious. It is delicious. All right. Next tip. Next tip. Did I bring? I did. Next tip. I'm going to show you, okay? I'm going to show you how to mink your lashes while I'm doing this, okay? Minking is where you are creating an optical illusion that your lashes are thicker um, and longer than what they are. And the way that you do this is you use two different colors. So I'm going to use our brown. Uh, these are both Epic Mascaras, okay? I'm going to use brown and I'm going to use black. Now, the techniques that I'm going to show you, you can totally use with just one color of mascara. You don't have to be like using um, both mascaras to do the initial techniques. You could just use, you know, like if you like black, you can use black. If you like purple, you can use purple. But if you layer the brown and the black, it creates an optical illusion, all right? And you know, guys, that's what makeup is. Makeup is smoke and mirrors. It is. It's just smoke and mirrors. Um, we're creating something different or enhancing what is already there. So, first tip, do not pump your mascara. Don't do that, okay? That puts air down in the tube and will dry your mascara out and you're going to find out that you're going through your mascara so much quicker and you're going to have flakes down in there, okay? Um, and that's with any mascara. Don't do it. Don't do it. Don't do it. All right. So, brown. I'm going to go on with the brown first. Let me, let me grab a mirror here. Let me grab a mirror because it would be nice to be able to see what I'm doing, right? All right. Got a mirror. Okay, when I take my mascara out, hey, hey. Oh, yeah, it's so cool. Um, I like to kind of see how I'm pushing down almost. And that gives me, see all of this? It's got like the perfect amount of mascara on it, all right? So you want to kind of look down. This is another tip. Of course, my husband calls. Okay, you want to kind of look down while you're applying your mascara, and that's going to enable you to really get the bottoms of your lashes, okay? So we're going to go, and we're just going to do the back side of your lashes, all right? Because, you know, the back side of your lashes, they might have a little bit of eyeshadow on them, whatever. They're dry. And if you... Um, if you do not put mascara back there, you're going to, uh, your, your lashes might fall quicker. They might fall quicker, okay? I'm sorry, my husband's distracting me because he's calling me. He's at a baseball meeting and probably like needing to know like my child's shirt size, if I was guessing. So what I do is I start at the base of my lashes right here and I lift up and I kind of wiggle, like wiggle and go up, wiggle and go up, wiggle and go up. And I'm just working back and forth doing that. But like I said, if you'll look down into a mirror, it'll let you really get down to the base of your lashes. Now, if you make a mess, some people are messy mascara appliers. Some days I am a messy mascara applier. Just let it dry, okay? Don't mess with it while it's wet. Just let it dry. And then what you can do is you can take a dry Q-tip and just fleck, it'll just fleck off. Hey, Shelly. How are you, girl? It'll just fleck right off. All right. Guys, if you share this video out, make sure that you tell me hashtag shared, okay? It's very important. So you're just going to do this. And like I said, if you don't want to do the minking technique that I'm going to show you, you can just do this technique, all right? And apply like this. Make sure you get all those little lashes on the edges. Show them a little love because they're going to really open your eyes up. All right, so look at that. Okay, that's one coat of the Epic Mascara. Hey, hey, and I am going to not let it completely dry, 
because if you let your mascara completely dry and you're going to put on another coat, then you might start to see like a little bit of clumpy buildup with any mascara, okay? Um, but I'm going to go on with my next coat before that completely dries. So now what we're going to do is we're going to go on with the black, all right? This is the black. This is the minking. Pull that out the same way. And we're going to go and we're just going to hit the tips with this black, okay? Just hit the tips of your lashes. This technique is called minking. And so what it does is, like I said, it creates an optical illusion because the brown's a little bit lighter than the black. So it's gonna make it look like your lashes are crazy thick and crazy long. All right, let's get this on. You could totally do this same technique to get your lashes to look long um, using the same color. You don't necessarily have to mink. I just love to mink because it gives like that illusion of thickness and fullness. Hey, girl. All right. And you can, this mascara is so buildable that you can like just keep going back and forth and it will totally keep building. It'll totally just keep building, okay? Look at that, guys. All right, so... I'm going to take the black and do my bottom. Do my bottom here. And I do not do the back side of my bottom lashes. They are just too close to my skin and I make a horrible mess if I do. Okay, now you gotta make the funny mascara face while you're doing mascara or it doesn't count. Do you know why we do that while we open our mouths when we do mascara? Because it allows your I to open wider. See that? True story. True story. Okay. There you go. If you need to comb through any clumps, you can do that at this time. Um, now I'm going to show you my secret weapon. Your hair dryer. Take your hair dryer. You want to turn it on like a low heat because you don't want to use like a high heat on your eye, okay? And what we're going to do, you can take your uh, little dry q-tip and you can kind of hold it at the base and push your eyelashes up or not whatever okay so we're going to go like this and direct our eyelashes up and this is drying the mascara What do you guys think? What do you think? What do you think? Nobody's talking to me today. Um, so that is how I do my mascara. Some people will put even on another coat right now. This is how I love mine. I love mine to look like this. This is how I, I like for it to look. Also, if you want to do back a butterfly effect when you are doing your uh, blow dryer, kind of point it outwards, okay? And it'll It'll blow those that way and make you look like you have those feathery, butterfly type um, eyelashes. If your eyelashes have trouble staying curled, if they don't want to stay curled up for you, you know, you get them curled and looking good and then you find through the day, out the day they fall, try using a waterproof mascara, okay? Because a waterproof mascara sometimes will hold a little bit better. Um, I don't necessarily have that problem, but I know my sister loves the waterproof mascara. I use the waterproof mascara a lot, especially when I'm at the lake, um, but uh, that will help hold curl, okay? If, you're, if your eyelashes are hard to curl and don't like to stay curled for you, that will do that. Also, another trick is you can heat up this, like use your um, your hair dryer and just kind of heat this up a little bit. Be careful not to burn yourself though, because it is metal and I would hate for you to burn your eye. So those are my best tricks for getting your lashes to look amazing. Um, like I said, if you share my video, I appreciate it so much. It helps me out so much when you guys do. Make sure you do hashtag shared. If you want to know any of the specials I have going on with these, um, let me know. If you want to know about the serum, let me know because it keeps your lashes nice and healthy and thick and dark. Um, I love y'all. Have a great rest of the Saturday and a good weekend.